Is that light can on? Go on. No, I okay. think that light is good. We're all set, and I'm here in the home of Frank and Patty Vanderland. And they were in Holland when the Germans occupied the country. And can you remember when the Germans came in, what it was like? Yes, I remember that very well. Uh, it was this month, 70 years ago, that uh, the war stopped. It is 75 years ago that the war started. And I remember that they, the Germans came in our country. And I remember that the Canadians came in our country. And the one was a lot better than the other. I remember. And in between, well, I was, when the war started, I was seven and a half years old, and when it ended, I was 12 and a half years old. So I, I remember that as a boy. And, uh, but in between, a lot of things happened. Yeah. Was it, do you remember, it was very difficult for the people in the Netherlands when the Germans were there? Was it brutal for them? It was, it was very difficult. Uh, this was the first war for Holland because in the First World War they were neutral. So this was the first war and uh, this, so the people who were living in Holland never had a war. This was the first war and it was uh, well very stressful. I remember very well that uh, the Germans occupied our country on the 10th of May 1940 and they came into our city, our town where we lived, uh, a few days later. I uh, was on my way to school and I saw them coming. And uh, we went to school, the teacher prayed for my father, he was in the war, he was fighting the paratroopers, the German paratroopers. But uh, when we were in school, they sent us back home. And uh, by, we were sitting in the room behind the window and we saw them coming, one after the other, both sides of the road, full of weapons and a lot of horses. It, the, uh, the artillery was, uh, was all uh, drawn by horses. Yeah. And uh, when, when the day was over, the whole road was ruined. Yeah, I remember that very well. Mm -hmm. And the people, yeah, they were, yeah, it, 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 it was very difficult. Very, 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 very difficult. Yeah. Very sad for the people yeah. when they came Yeah, in. absolutely. Can, yeah. Can, can you remember, Patty, the, when the Germans? That started? Yeah. No. 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 Well, Patty was born in 38, so. Yeah. Oh, okay, so 38, you were. 38, but, um, I remember that the German people, we were living behind the water and they oh, the were canal. Yeah. canal and the German people were very... Uh, um, they didn't like water. Oh no, they hate water hmm. and that was our... That was good for them. Yeah. 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 Well, did that day that they come in, you went back home with but yeah. did you go back to school? Did things oh yeah, later on we, uh, we, we went back to school. That yeah. was, was yeah, so quite life, normal. Life continued. Yeah, yeah life continued. Yeah. And uh, in the, the war broke out uh, in May and we uh, moved to a different village in, I think it was October or November. Okay. Yeah. And uh, that was a village. Uh, not far from the other town, but it was uh, surrounded by uh, farms. Okay. Yeah. What, was and there a big presence of German troops all through Holland? Were they well very uh, noticeable? They were very. She, I, I don't know uh, the other provinces. I speak about our own province, right. uh, Friesland, and uh, that's not that was not very heavy populated. But we saw them. Well, I can say every day. Every day. They had uh, maneuvers every day, or oh, not, not every day, but uh, very often. And uh, yeah, we, uh, we, we saw them a lot. We, uh, 
I remember that uh, they had to learn how to drive a bike. A lot of Germans couldn't ride a bike. Mm. And uh, I remember how they did it there. Tried to do it anyway. Yeah, yeah. Was, was yeah. there any times you can remember that it was violence from the Germans, or did they pretty yeah. well leave you alone? Well, uh, see, we, uh, the Germans wanted young people to work for them. Right. And uh, in, as, as slave laborers in, in Germany, in the factories or the plants. And uh, the boys didn't want that, of course. But they, uh, we, we call that razias. They had razias sometimes, and they picked the boys from the from the streets and from the houses, and uh, they were transported to uh, to Germany. To Germany. Yeah, and some had to make uh, trenches on the sides of the roads. Trenches every every ten meters a trench. They, they that were slave laborers, Dutch people who who had to do that. Yeah. And and the boys that went to Germany, did they all come back or? No, 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 no. Uh, they did not all come back, but a lot came back. But mm -hmm. that was far after the war ended. Okay. Uh, some war from Germany to to Friesland, to their home. There was no transport. They there were, was no they transportation. Were on their own. Yeah. No, no. Uh, and in the in the war time, there was there were no papers. There was no telephone, so there was no communication with other people or other. So the parents of these boys, they, they didn't know? They did not know. Didn't no. know. They had no idea where, where they were going. And uh, you said, yeah, violation, that is, we know now about the Jews, yeah, what happened to them. We did not know what happened to them. Yeah, we, know, we knew that uh, the Germans, uh, well, sent them to Germany in concentration camps, but what happened to them, we had, we had no idea. So, so we learned that after the war. You knew, you could tell, you saw that they were rounding up the Jewish people. Well, in, in our in our uh, surroundings there were not many Jews. Not the, many. The, 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 most of the Jews lived in uh, the big cities oh, okay. in the western, in Amsterdam, yeah. especially. Uh, you remember uh, Anne Frank? Yes. Frank uh, she uh, she was uh, she was uh, transported to Bergen Belsen. That's a concentration camp, and uh, that's where she died. Yeah. Yes. But we learned that after the war, we didn't know it. Was there a lot of shortages of food, and how did the the Dutch people? How did they suffer when this well, occupation? Well, uh, in was our on? province, there there was a shortage of food, but my mother always had the chance to put something on the table. It was not always very good, but it, we, 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 we stayed alive. Uh, in, the, in the western provinces, uh, especially in the, the hunger winter, that was 44, 45, mm. uh, the Germans uh, uh, cut off all the transports of food and fuel to those provinces, so okay. the people had nothing, nothing to eat, and the Germans looted everything they could get. So there was no, no food at all. And uh, we heard later on that between 18,000 and 25,000 died because of hunger. Did but in our province, we, we lived in between the farmers. The, f the farmers were all around us, oh, okay. and uh, we, uh, we always had something on the table. Yeah. You, your father was a farmer? Oh, yeah. yeah. It, did they take his cattle or take any things from the farm, the Germans? I, I can't no, remember I that. No, I don't think so. Yeah. No. But no. Um, I remember that the slachter, the Dutchler, that, that they butchered the cattle yeah. on the, the farm. Yeah, yeah okay. and then. Which was and illegal. In a place where no one, no one has to know that. Okay, so they yeah. had their own meat, but had to keep it and quiet. Well, for other people also. Uh, and other for people. the village, they, they fed a lot of people. Yeah. And, uh, okay. And my my dad had a big um, festival garden. Yes. 
and so we had that and we had milk okay, yeah. so you were and I remember one time there came all these young men on bikes to our house that they came for milk yeah. to get some milk from yeah. my father yeah. and then there was um, uh, um, I don't know what it was but they uh, they came on the bike and they uh, a vliegtuig kwam neer. Yeah. Um, a plane a crashed. Plane crashed. Oh, crashed. And um, the boys of, of men were going in the the little farts on the side of the road. Okay. Little you dishes. mentioned one time, Patty, about um, somebody that was sheltering some boys in a place so that they didn't have to go to Germany. No, my father. Yeah, see, you see that's yeah. See that war the we, we uh, see those go those those boys didn't want to go to Germany, so yeah. they had to hide themselves. Right. And uh, the, her father and mother had a big farm, and they hid a lot of those people, oh, okay. and also nice. people from the resistance. Oh yes. Uh, which was very dangerous. If yeah. they, the yeah, Germans not. should have known that then he would not he would not, he would not have lived there. Yeah. 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 No. But I remember that one of my cousins yes. was uh, of yeah, a cousin was also there were more cousin, family boys. And um, the German people came on the Walter side on the not on our side, but on, on the other side, yeah, yeah. and it was um, uh, Mr. No, no. Yeah. It he was, was foggy. It was foggy, and that was good. And he was going running in the field, uh, yeah. and my yeah. father was so so mad. <laughs> if if they had seen that, yeah, who? Yeah. Oh, but it was foggy, so he could go. Saved, saved everybody. So, yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. It was the Dutch resistance quite active? Yeah. Where you were, yeah. they were there were many people. Yeah, yeah. There uh, were many people in the resistance, and uh, one of the things they did is try to get uh, air crew that was shut down, mm. trying to get them back to England. Yeah, okay. Yes, that was one of the things they did, and uh, my uncle, he was, uh, well, he was, he, he he had a lot to do with that. Right. Uh, uh, yeah. Let, uh, after the war, we were told that one night he had eleven air crew on his attic, mm. and the kids didn't know anything about it. That would have been a death sentence if yeah. the Germans oh, yeah. had found oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. You, you mentioned when we started talking, your father was in the Dutch army. Yeah. So what happened to him during the war? Well, he uh, during the war. Uh, See, he, he came home. He, he came, came back. home after the war. He came home. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah. during he the was war? not a prisoner of war. No. So, so where was he during the war? Home. Oh, he came home. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. So he, when he, the he when home. the Germans the the soldiers were in the Dutch army, they, they allowed they, them to go back. They allowed them to okay. go back home. Yeah. yeah. But in those five days between the the tenth and the fifteenth of May. Uh, uh, about 2,300 soldiers ki were killed, Dutch okay, soldiers. So there's quite a few. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And, and the Queen, I remember she came to Canada, she yeah. was able to, yeah, to Queen, get out. Uh, Queen Wilhelmina. Wilhelmina. Yeah, she, yeah. she went to England right. and her daughter, the later Queen Juliana, right. she gave birth to uh, Prince Marguerite in Ottawa. Okay. They, they yeah. bought yeah. A, a place. Place. The they place bought it that the Dutch was that where she is born. Okay. In yes. Ottawa. I think yeah. I remember. It. So yeah. he was born on Dutch soil. Yeah. Yeah. He yeah. was born, yeah. born on Dutch yeah. soil. That's right. Yeah. 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 So, so those years that the country was occupied by Germany, in some places it was very difficult, and where you yeah. were, it was difficult enough, but not not as hard as not as uh, hard as in the. the the Western provinces, Western. They, were, they, they were very; those provinces were very dense populated. Right. The cities of uh, the, the Hague and Rotterdam and Amsterdam and Leiden, those cities, 
It's it's uh, it's it's one big city. Yes. Uh, From Van Gogh's India. Yeah, yeah in, in forty, I think uh, there were nine, almost nine million people in in Holland. Really? Yeah, but most of them lived in the, in the in the western provinces, in the big cities. So, yeah. so did the Dutch people have to carry identity papers, or did they? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Everybody, Every, everybody had, had that. Yeah. Had to yeah. have paper, yeah. and they were checked quite regular. Well. I was never checked, but I I suppose my parents were, but yeah. I I really don't know that. They wouldn't no. check children. Very no, no, I don't think so. No. I no. remember one thing that I was a little girl, and there came quite often came people over the young, and they want to know how they and they want me always on their knees. Yes. That I and that I should talk. So I didn't know much that there were so many young men in our house. Oh, okay. But they tried, and my mom and dad said, told me that later, they tried to get something out of me. Okay. Mm -hmm. I was four years old, maybe, yeah. five. Yeah. So they were suspicious of your parents? Yeah. They, they were thinking they I might think so, yeah. 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 All right. Did you get news? You did, did you have radio so you could hear, for example, the no. BBC or could you no. tell? You the radios uh, were not allowed. No. Everybody oh, okay. who had a radio had to uh, bring it away to a okay. certain place. But and, uh, there were was, some. But some hired. people kept had uh, kept hired. them, of course. Yeah. They, they had maybe two or three, and uh, some people kept them so they so could hear the news and uh, mostly the BBC in England. Did they, they knew about? D-Day when the well, Allies came uh, into France. And some people have known, of course. I think yeah. the resistance they knew. We didn't. Right. Uh, yeah, we. See, there are rumors, eh? and uh, I remember at school, one boy told me they landed in Normandy. Hmm. Well, we had no idea, but no. it was true. It was true. Yeah. 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 And. When Holland was liberated, Canada played quite a, a, a role. What, what, what was it like when the Canadian troops came in? Do you remember that? Oh yeah, they, <laughs> I remember that very well. See, they, uh, they, we were liberated on a, on a Tuesday, I think it was the 17th of April, and the night before, they were fighting not far from us, but in, uh, in a little village by a bridge. And uh, they couldn't, they, they, they lost the bridge. And uh, we heard the grenades come over, and uh, we were the, well, in the cellar, I think, well, till, till 10 or 11 o'clock. And then it became a little quieter. And the next morning, they came, we saw them coming. On by, <laughs> yeah, the people on both sides, either side of the road, and in the middle, the jeeps and the motorbikes and the, and the brand carriers and everything there. Yeah, so I remember that very well. I was standing on the road with my hand up and everybody, <laughs> 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 all of them, yeah. I was almost lame. Yeah. So yeah. it was a, a joyous occasion. Yeah, that was a very joyous yeah. occasion. So, oh, yeah. 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 But uh, see, in, uh, the Germans, they also, also uh, bombed uh, London hmm. from the Netherlands. Oh, okay. we, uh, we lived on a road where the, the, maybe we have heard about the V1s and the V2s. Yes. Uh, they came by our house oh, and great. we saw them, saw big, them. big long trailers. Uh, they were a creation, I think, from uh, Werner von Braun, yes. the man who later uh, was in, uh, the, in space the United program. States, yeah. in space program, yeah. yeah. And, and they, uh, we, uh, we could hear them. They, they, they launched them in not not far oh, away okay. from us in, uh, in 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 a wooded area, right. and uh, they uh, well they send them in the direction of London, mm. and uh, well the launching was not uh, not all the time successful. Sometimes they came down right away. And oh, yeah, we could hear that very well. Yeah. And uh, later on in the war, the English uh, fighter pilots. They uh, pushed them, they, they could fly next to them, and 
and they pushed them away with their wings oh. so that they went to an, in another direction and mm -hmm. landed in the sea. In the sea? Yeah, I, I but they couldn't that. do any damage. Yeah, yeah. That's, uh, yeah that happened. So yeah. when the Canadians come in, did you have any interaction with them? Did you meet any? Well, we didn't speak English. We, we, oh, okay. we so could not sorry. speak a word English. And, yeah. uh, but, but, oh yeah, they, uh, when they were off duty, they uh, looked uh, looked up everybody on the street every house had had canadian soldiers okay. yeah they were talking and we didn't understand anything <laughs> but <laughs> they were there oh yeah that was very exciting yeah. it was a good yeah. Time. Yeah. that was the reason that your uncle was translated well my uncle uh, he he was a teacher and he spoke english and german, german. And when the Canadians came, he went with them on the tank. And uh, when they met a group of Germans, he went to the Germans with a white flag, so they shouldn't shoot. And they uh, make uh, he he made them surrender and put their weapons down. That's what he did. And uh, one time uh, he did that, and an officer uh, still had uh, his his pistol in his pocket and he shot him. In the back. When, when he walked when back, he, he back was to the oh. translated yeah. with yeah. people and he walked back and one shot him and he was dead. He died. He yeah. died. Yeah. But the man who did old that, and yet they killed him too. So, well, that's... That is the... That's what, is yeah. what they say. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. But yeah. So he lived all through the war? And yeah. he, he, has, he has seen the Canadians, but uh, he died the day of liberation. Day of liberation. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, very yeah. sad. Yeah. 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 And then the Canadians moved through. Did they leave Holland as they went into Germany? or did Well, some a lot of them stayed. Some and stayed. But, but uh, a lot of them went also to uh, Germany. Uh, later, when we lived here, I uh, spoke a lot to one of the veterans, I spoke to, to many veterans, but one in uh, especially that was uh, Ernie Neal and he told me about uh, what they did from Normandy to Holland okay. uh, and uh, he was also in uh, Germany but he said uh, what shocked him the most was the concentration camp, they, visited, they, they liberated it. They, uh, so all kinds of dead bodies, yeah. uh, mass graves still open. Uh, they saw the gas chambers, the ovens where they burned them, and that was very stressful. For they were young guys. Yeah. They, they, they were, they were uh, teens and, and early twenties. Uh, and uh, I think later, later on in his work, he was very troubled by that. Yeah, still. it would yeah. make a very great yeah. impression. How yeah. how far? Were you from the German border? Where oh, you not so far uh, from the German border. Well, hundred kilometer maybe. Okay, so maybe, maybe not even that. No, yeah. I doubt it. Yeah, yeah. Almost yeah. the same as from here to the U.S. border. You know. Yeah. You could it, go I back think it was a little closer by. A little yeah. closer yeah. than yeah. that. Yeah. 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 And did you? I suppose it's when you're young you might not, but was there any indication, do you think, that the people in your area knew that the Germans would be coming, that they would, would well, invade? Well, uh, see, in the First World War, Holland was neutral, right. and I think they wanted to keep neutral in the Second World War, but uh, they didn't. And yeah, the, see, the, the Germans started already in 39, eh? mm -hmm. uh, in Fasian, in Poland, and, and I, I think the people knew that they were coming, yeah. Yeah, there yeah. was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I'm not, I'm not sure. No, you were quite young at yeah, that time, I was, so, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Well, I really appreciate you talking to us and getting this down. It's the anniversary, a significant yeah. anniversary of, yeah. 
of the liberation of Holland. And, yeah. uh, um, there's still a few soldiers that go over. Yeah. They're, they're quite yeah. in age now, yeah. but uh, yeah. it's yeah. good to have this down. So. Thank People you. in Holland are very, very thankful for oh, what the Canadians. Yeah. We, we've heard yes. that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Very thankful. Yeah. Well, we thank you for thank being you with us much. and doing this interview. Thank you very much.